Let's talk to Grant Harold, though. He is, of course, the former royal butler, because a terribly depressing and upsetting story for anyone who likes to drink tea uh, is that the new eco-friendly biodegradable Yorkshire tea bags actually don't work. Grant, very good morning to you. Good morning, sir. I'm, I'm sitting here with my bag of smell and salt in complete <laughs> panic. I mean, I'm, I mean, can you imagine anything worse than oh. serving up some tea to a member of the royal family only to discover oh. that the bag has burst in the pot? I, I don't even. I couldn't even begin to imagine. I mean, we all think we're, we've got problems in Britain at the moment. Well, yeah. this, I'm sorry. This this tops it. I know. This is a, this I know. Is Forget about. Never mind Brexit. You know, exactly. This is exactly. this is absolutely horrendous news. Now, now I don't know whether you've tried these biodegradable uh, tea bags. Have you? Uh, no. <laughs> Quite right. <laughs> they sound lovely, but I haven't. Now, the last time you and I spoke about tea, I seem to recall you telling me that you had one of those rather nice sort of diffusers. I do. That well, you put put uh, tea leaves in it uh, and put that in the water instead. Well, I've, I've kind of upgraded a bit. I've got a tea strainer. Ah. So I've got a very smart tea strainer that, that I use, and I, yeah. I like my loose tea. Yeah. Um, I'm not saying that I don't have tea bags, because some people come to the house and they'll say, actually, can I have a tea bag? So, of course, uh, I've got some, some tea bags mm. if anybody really wants the tea bag. But can you imagine saving up the tea bag and then suddenly it breaks apart in the cup? Well, I, I think I'd be so embarrassed. I'd, uh, I'd have to leave. You'd, you'd have to just leave the country, wouldn't you? You'd have literally, to literally uh, get uh, the uh, next yes. plane out of town. Yes. But, I mean, are you one of those people that has ever put tea bags into a teapot? Yes, I have. have uh, I put, uh, yes, that's I fine. See, that surprises me. The, the, what I don't like, do, I take them back out. I don't leave them in. Ah. Uh, so as I, as I said, you get a dunk. Okay. They're in for a couple of minutes and right. then straight back out. Right. Ideally, tea leaves are my, my preferred option. But some people, again, they prefer tea bags. They'll even bring tea bags to my home and say, this is the ones that we like to have. Yeah. So that's fine. In the teapot, they'll go a couple of minutes out the teapot because otherwise they'll stew. Um, but what people don't realise is that the, the actual tea bag, it was actually the, the invention of the tea bag. It was so that it could be transported from the States around the world. Oh, yeah. And when it came over here, us Brits, we thought, this is great. You know, this is brilliant. It's not packaging. You just put the whole thing in the in the cup. And that's where the, the tea bag was born. I see. Um, but, well, what idiot came up with the idea of making it biodegradable then? Because it clearly doesn't work. Well, I don't know. And I, and I was obviously reading about this, and it's a little bit kind of worrying, you know, when you kind of hear the kind of disaster stories. And I feel so sorry for so many people across the country that are serving up their teas as we speak, and suddenly they've got the... God knows at the, the bottom of the cup, you know, yeah. obviously the remains of everything is still there. Oh. Uh, I say it's just highly embarrassing. So the only option is to go back to, to loose tea. Yes, because, I mean, regardless of, of how good or otherwise the tea bag actually is, generally speaking, the tea inside a tea bag is not as good as loose no. tea, is it? No, it's it's, the, it's, like dust, it's very it? much the kind of dredge, if you like. It's just what's kind of left over that you get. So that's why it's better just to go that little bit, you know, just got that little bit and just get the tea leaves. And yes. then also at the end of it, if you want, you can even read the tea leaves. So add yeah. to all the joy of having an afternoon tea. Well, do you know, I don't want to show off, but I used to work in a tea room uh, making oh, tea. Okay. And uh, one of the great tricks that I learned there was that if you um, stir the tea leaves inside the pot once they've been in there for a little while, yes. not too vigorously, just a mm. sort of gentle stir, close the tea teapot lid, and then very gently with your silver spoon or whatever kind of spoon mm -hmm. you've got, tap, the, so tap the side of the teapot, right? And all mm -hmm. the tea leaves will fall to the bottom of the pot. Love it. I've and, never heard and, of that. And I've then when you pour it, you can actually not even use a tea, a tea strainer. Oh, well, I, bet I love the tea strainer. You know, yes. I, I, like, I like the tea cinnamon. I like using the fine bone china. Uh -huh. I like my tea strainers, my sugar tongs, sugar cubes. I do the full wax. Okay. And is your preferred tea of choice, um, I think I've asked you this before, it's not Earl Grey, is it? Is it English breakfast? It, it, actually, no, Earl Grey is my is my favourite. If, if I ever go anywhere, it's normally Earl Grey. And I've also discovered something called jasmine pearls. Oh, yes. Very Which nice. I, I really enjoy, especially last thing at night. Jasmine tea is beautiful. Very, mm. very, very really uh, medicinal. And very good for you as well. It is. And it will calm everyone down with this crisis that we're having as well. Yeah, I mean, it really is a massive crisis. But thank you, Grant, for trying to help us through it. Grant Harold, <laughs> there, uh, the former royal butler, the man who knows all there is to know uh, about making tea. Uh, Patricia says Earl Grey is the absolute best tea, whether it be bags or loose. Never drink anything else. Lemon or milk, I do both. Um, yeah, you can do certainly lemon or milk with Earl Grey. That's very nice.